Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Public News Podcast. We're here with a special night. We got the Healings of the Nation. Uh, we're here with us right now. We got the Mighty Lion, Dub Robot, and my man Ezra, my right hand man. Love that guy. But uh, yeah, so um, you guys go. Uh, Want to introduce yourselves? Go yeah. Ahead. So <clears throat> most people know me as Philly, um, but I also go by Mighty Lion, Dub Music uh, for years, years, years. Uh, but yeah, that's. Uh, that's what I'm here for, to play some music for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice one. I'm Dub Robot, and uh, happy to be here. Right yeah. on, right on. So yeah. uh, as, explain a little bit of this Healing the Nation, so it, how does this sort of come together, and so, what, what we got going on with this thing. So it was an idea that I've had for years, you know, obviously it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a culture thing. Um, healing, healings of the Nation is something that they throw in the UK, and it's a big South System um, show. And they also, um, I wanted to bring that, that culture out to the Ventura, Ventura area. Everybody knows I've done reggae music around here for years. Um, I've always produced uh, reggae music for other artists. And uh, me and Ezra have dubbed out a bunch of records together, you know. So yeah. he's been a good mentor. He's been a good guy to tell me, hey, that snare right there needs to be delayed. That snare needs to be like, he, he was a good cue. So like, you know, and throughout the years of just, you know, playing reggae music recording reggae music you know you study the, the the scene and the culture and i really fell in love with sound system culture which is you know djs getting together uh that we call them selectors and they play vinyl and different djs have their own sound systems so it became like um where whose system was the loudest and and then um when the you know the the, the mcs would get on the mic it was like where the origins of like freestyling king basically okay. they would just get on the mic and just like talk smack to each other and then whoever got the crowd the hypest was the winner and then again then the sound system whoever had like the best you know wh whatever selectors picked the best songs and the system was loud so that was a big thing and it would get full of people and it was like a fun time and you know they and it spread all over the world mm -hmm. and we're just you know doing our part making sure that it keeps spreading all over the world and Bringing it out here to Ventura, California, yeah. Oxnard, California, you know? Yeah, well, hey, well, thanks for bringing it here, man. Yeah. Appreciate that. It's Appreciate like that. One of, uh, one of the first ones out here, so right. you know, yeah, I'm yeah. glad we're, we're here doing it in Ms. Ms. Olsen's. Hell yeah. So uh, what about you, man? What, what's, your, what, what's your history? Uh, so my history with reggae music goes back um, pretty far, just like Phil's. Um, I, uh, I've, my, my mom's from Guyana, so we always listen to like Calypso growing up. And then I, I got farther into reggae. Um, and in college, I actually, my first recording session was 40 Ounces to Freedom with Sublime. Nice. So I played uh, sax on that record and kind of just been going ever since with that. But uh, I developed Dub Robot in, in about 2004. I just woke up one day and decided that I needed to build a time machine because <laughs> it was getting out of hand. Yeah. And so, yeah. Uh, so actually ended up building a time recycling device which takes wasted time and turns it into a good time there we so go. i don't know that if you've ever way. if you've ever wasted any time oh yeah Plenty. yeah <laughs> a couple times yep. but yeah so so that thing works now and um yeah and it's parked out there oh yeah. that, 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 the the machine we saw out there yeah yeah yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool we're taking a look at look at that yeah, 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 that's yeah. You should post a picture up in the, on the that's podcast. the dub robot. Yeah. Um, I was like, a super was gonna take off flying. Yeah, <laughs> badass. If it goes fast enough, it will. So, I know uh, Ezra, <laughs> you know, you, you've been obviously playing reggae music your entire life, a bunch of different bands. You got Rising Sun, and uh, I know you've been playing with all, all kinds of bands, but uh, you know, what's your thought on this whole the DJ scene and stuff like that? Well, well, like he says, you know, keeping up the culture about it for sure. And I remember sitting in a room, uh, hotel room with scientists one of the innovators of a certain type of dub that he did mm -hmm. and he was mentored from somebody else but uh king toby yeah, yeah king yeah, toby king right toby. so back in the day when he used to kind of do our sound for a band that we had i learned more in two hours with the scientists and you, you could within 15 years of just listening to music or trying to figure it out you know but when he's sitting there telling you how it was in the 70s and how you know it was an island so things were sparse to get a hold of like the um the amps the fisher old school 70s fisher amps so they would mm -hmm. get if they get like five or ten of them they patch them all together to have the biggest sound system and 
it was yeah. cool it was cool to listen to him and and kind of be like oh you know and then like he was saying the music got over here to new york i think it started yeah you know the oh the hip hop the hip hop thread yeah 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 and, and with the jamaican connection or whatever too yeah. the the big bass sound so that's why you hear bass in those those in hip hop and right hip hop and you know. bass is heavy I yeah mean, it's it's interesting very interesting for sure yeah, yeah scientists oh. is a huge and how about they said they had uh, transistor radios or whatever yeah they had, so they only had be- like one speaker so they were only hearing one side of certain music and it was coming from a lot of country music yeah so they're hearing country but they were missing a beat so they're like wanting to emulate it and that's where the the, the reggae chop kind of came from from before stereo yeah that, that's cool that i didn't was, know that there's a yeah, yeah lenny lenny steel told me about that from hmm. uh pure hell a legendary punk band he, he taught me a lot about the reggae nice. thing and it, that came from country music on a transistor radio they heard one side of it so they only heard one beat and they're feeling the it's interesting. That stuff. is, it's crazy how it all comes about. Now, I'm right? not a, 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 you know, I don't know. If that's ab- totally accurate, but yeah, those are some stories that were told to me. <laughs> right. I don't want right. to say I'm like a like, by somebody who's there and did it, right? Yeah. yeah. So I see you guys brought some records in, man. You want to talk about those yeah. a little bit? Go ahead. So, oh well, I wanted to talk about this. Is actually the first piece that I got to put on vinyl as reggae. I didn't put it out. This is a band called the Rougher All Stars. Um, they're from Kansas City. Um, again, thanks to Ezra, he hooked me up with that connection. But um, these guys are really cool. They record all their own music and they keep it old school and traditional. There's a lot of rock steady in here. There's a lot of uh, rockers reggae, which is uh, a certain sound of reggae. But I got the, the the pleasure of mixing this record and also dubbing it, which is you know playing with the the, fe- the delay effect, the reverb effect. And a lot of, like, as a dub artist, you kind of develop your own delay sound, your own reverb sound by just using different types of pedals or, you know, different types of effects. It's like a guitar player. Yeah. Uh, every dub um, producer or DJ, per se, um, they kind of have their own sound, you know, like I said, like, like guitar players do. So, <clears throat> you know, I got I got the chance to do this record, and it just came out, and... Um, I don't know if you guys maybe uh, know her. Um, her name's Emily. She's a bass player. Um, what does she go by, Ezra? Uh, gold Eye Locks. Yeah, Gold Eye Locks. Gold Eye Locks. Um, is mm-hmm, she cool. originally from out here? No. No? They're you from just, Nebraska, yeah. I think, originally. And yeah. I used to book their band at the drink. There we go. Yeah. They're so. they called Dub District or something like that. Huh. I, I, I think. I mean. But yeah, so I got to mix it and, and dub it out. And so that's pretty. And where did some of the people come from in that band, though? Oh, yeah. Some of the people that came <laughs> from this band were. Um, that's cool. Blue too. Rhythm Band. A little history on that. <clears throat> Blue Rhythm Band is. Uh, I thought they were a band from Jamaica. And I have some of their, their vinyl. But um, they're the first American reggae band to go play at the Sunsplash. And they're the first American reggae band to get a Grammy. For best reggae compilation, I think it was, or or cover or something, but they were they were an American reggae band, That's you know. So if, if people think you know it's Iration and Revolution, oh, there's bands way before from the '80s that were doing the reggae. Blue, the Blue Rhythm Band. Yeah, Blue Rhythm Band. So That's that awesome. uh, some of the members are from from this band here too. Right on, right on. So yeah, what 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 do you got there? Uh so this is some new stuff from uh, Escape Hatch Records. Um, I I did this. Uh, so Escape Hatch Records is a record label out of San Diego. And um, this is a dub compilation um, that we put together um, from the from the pandemic, and there's some really great stuff that came out of the pandemic. Um, so this is a two. Oh, nice. You know the gatefold one, and uh, oh yeah. Oh, let's see if I can do this. Yeah. Speaking my language right now. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Records. Oh yeah, Ezra. Yeah, um, these you know it's really fun to to create vinyl. I'm a I'm a mastering engineer and I, I sort of specialize in vinyl, oh. so I do a lot of work for different um, record labels, and this is one of them. But this was a cool one. Um, it's it's basically in the pandemic, all the reggae musicians were just like at home, yeah. figuring it out, and um, we just put out a call and was like, who wants to like sound system style like. Who wants to get together? And these tracks were created. Uh, so we got like you know Roger Rivas, mm-hmm. uh, we got Victor Rice on here. I'm on here. Uh, Agent J, the guitar player from the Slackers, did one. Um, 
and there's some great you know amazing if you look at these you should check these yeah. out check out these names on there that's pretty pretty great um yeah and anyway so uh we did the straight tunes and then this is the remix record so you can get the straight tunes they're amazing they're in this i think there's there are over three records this is volume one of, wow. of the dubs so very cool so, so yeah. if uh, you know people are going to be watching this it'll, it'll come on you know probably you know later this week yeah and they're gonna look back because this is being a live feed you know they're gonna check out you guys sets so where can oh, they yeah. go to uh to, to to find your music you know online do you guys have any pl platforms they could find it you know you want to share that with everybody yeah i have a ton of stuff on spotify um a lot of my stuff is on dubmusic.com um uh, with because i've for 10 years i've been working with scientists as his mix assistant so we we mix together in, in his studio um, pretty regularly, and then um, there's there's a bunch of record labels I work with. But Escape Escape Hatch out of San Diego is where this one's coming from, and also there's one called Black Market out of Nashville, and that's this one. Oh, wow. And we did a Christmas record. This was the number one <laughs> reggae record uh, for Christmas reggae. What? It's a niche. Wow. Yeah. Oh, look at your cards uh, right down the front. Yeah, and then here you can see even a, beyond Jacob Miller, you can see the land. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> current, <laughs> current. Yeah, no, there's a. That's you cool. know what's funny That's is really there cool. is a lot of Christmas reggae. <laughs> there is. Just, I know it's never never it. Blew my mind when I had it. I'm, I'm gonna search for some but Christmas reggae. They say I read a lot rather than is you know, uh, I read Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Candy oh. cane. Oh. Candy oh. cane. Come oh. on, candy cane. Oh, Ezra's gonna want that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is this is a uh, black market, a black market that, Christmas. That's part of this label as well. Yes. Yeah, so they um black they Bird. uh they put this out on uh yeah Blackbird is another right that that's the distribution for this oh, one. Okay. That's a that's a label that I master for out of Whittier. Um, oh nice. And they do um like Chicano soul, ska, reggae. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, that's getting big. Actually. Chicago yeah, Batman it's, sounds. It's really cool. Oh, the yeah. Chicago Batman played here. Yeah. Dude, he was incredible. One of the dudes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Killed yeah. it, dude. Yeah, Killed amazing. That. I can't wait. He, he's going to come I back. I did want to yeah. mention, he did, uh, he mentioned Roger Rivas. I'm sure you guys heard of him yeah. or seen him play. The Agri Lights. He's a keyboard player in the Agri Lights. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Long Beach Doubles. And Long Beach Doubles, yeah. yeah. Well, where, where can they find your music, man? Where, where, where are you set up at? Um, uh, on online Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music. You can look up for, uh, look up uh, Mighty Lion Dub. That's all my stuff, and um, you could also look up for um, um, Rougher All Stars. They're also on Spotify. You can buy their vinyl, um, and I record a lot of the reggae bands from out here, but from well. Ventura. You know, I've done the Rising Sun records. Uh, I've done Bombafia. I've worked with uh, um, Jacob. You know, uh, After the Smoke. Um, who else? I've done. I worked with Scott Daddies. I've worked with. I played in Scott Daddies, Scott Daddies for five years. Um, there's just all, like a lot of the reggae bands from out here. I've, I've got to record and, and yeah. some of them I've also made some dub remixes, which you also find on online. So cool. this guy's like the keystone of the Ventura reggae scene. Right. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. hey man, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. You know, get after it tonight, and uh, I appreciate you guys coming to Miss Olson's. You know, and bringing your yeah. talents here. I really do. I really do appreciate it. We and, should uh, uh, we should try to get DJ Blanco in here right now. Yeah, well, we have we'll get the met we're gonna come. I think he's on stage right now, yeah, so yeah. I'll get him DJ Tone in here. But yeah, uh, Tone, him and Tone in hey, here. thank you guys so much for coming in, thank and uh, appreciate your time, man, and good luck with this project. And you guys, you're always welcome here. Oh yeah, oh thank, thank you very you. much. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Thank you, Ezra. All right, thank you.